So today I've got a lot more tools and I'm doing it outside. You can see they're all pretty rusty and they're all going to go in as one go. And I'm going to use my watt meter this time so we can measure how much power is actually being consumed while doing this. And then I'm also going to test it against this 12 volt power supply to see which one works better, this or the battery charger. So I'll start by putting them all into the water. I have to make sure that none of them touch this. In fact, this piece of wire might not quite be long enough. I'll tie the wire to the handle so that it can't come too close to the anode. So I've got my positive from the battery charger going to the steel pipe and then the negative will go over to this wire and then I'll turn it on. So you can see the watt meter is starting to update. We're currently at, I'm not sure how easy you'll see this on camera, but we're currently at around 17.5 watts. It's not a huge amount of power being used. Let's unplug that for a moment and try our 12 volt power supply and see how that does. So I'll put our negative here and bring our positive over here. And if we check the watt meter, we're only measuring 4.5 watts. So my battery charger is actually much better than the power supply. So I'll leave this running for a while and we'll see what happens. So it's been about three hours. Let's have a look at how they look. Well, they look okay, but what I'll do is I'll take them in, wash them down, and then we can take a closer look at how much rust is actually being removed. So here are the finished pieces, and I would say it was pretty much a success. You can see that this one's even shiny again, where it was all rusty before, and it's so easy to open and close now. Same with this one here, really easy to open and close, and it's pretty shiny. There's some pitting of the metal, but I would say there's basically no rust left on them. This one is also nice shiny metal, no more rust. Uh, maybe, is that rust in there? No, it's not rust, it just needs to be dried. So, nice easy tool to use again. I mean, look at how easy that's opening and closing compared to when it was rusty. And then we have our two files here. Now the interesting thing about this one is you can see where it wasn't fully submerged in the water. So we had the rusted section here, and then we have the recovered section here. So that's pretty interesting. And this one worked as well, you know, removed the rust. Probably, yeah, there might still be a little bit of rust on there. That seems to be the worst one out of all of these. Um, not really too bothered because I don't actually use this one that much and I could always do it for longer if I wanted. But these ones came out perfect. So yeah, it definitely helps leaving them in there longer. And I'll probably just put a bit of oil on these now. Um, maybe rub some WD-40 on the outside to help against future rust and a little bit of oil between the uh, where they meet so that it stays nice and easy to use over the years. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.